Well, good morning and happy Monday. As you can hear from the machinery, I am not <laughs> in town. I am in the city right now. I am adulting. Adulting sucks sometimes, especially on a day like today because it is gorgeous out. So <laughs> I am trying to hurry up and get my stuff done so I can go home and get on soldier or cane. I don't even know which one yet. I'll find out when I get there. Um, I'm a little bit sore because the last couple of days I have been starting uh, doing aerobics with my daughter <laughs> and it, it's been kicking my butt but it's good for me. It's a different change and it's challenging me and on top of it I'm doing the vegetarian thing which I am doing very... Mm, so many reasons why I like living in the country. Anyways. <laughs> um, I've been doing really well on the vegetarian thing. I uh, have not missed meat yet. Maybe chicken just a little bit, like I said, but um, I'm going to cure that in the next little bit because I found a few really good recipes. More cars. Mm -hmm. Sorry, outdoors uh, for sunlight. <laughs> and, well, and time too, because I seriously, I hit the ground running this morning. Then I'm like, oh shit, I have to do a bit. Oh, sorry. Oh shoot, I have to do a video today. <laughs> So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to take you on my day. Let's get this stuff done so I can go home and be with my beast. Oh, yeah, I forgot the chicken thing. I've got a recipe for vegan chicken, believe it or not, using, well, there's two different methods that I saw. One was something called a Satan, not Satan, not the devil, Satan, um, and it's um, made out of wheat gluten, I believe it is. And the other one is using tofu, but pressing it. So I got myself some tofu because I have never worked with tofu before. So that's going to be a bit of a, both a cooking and taste adventure for all of us, actually. Um, Cause Claremont in the 30 years, he says that he doesn't do a whole lot of tofu just because he doesn't know about it. And well, yep, that's, uh, so we're going to try it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to say about the chicken. We'll go on with my day now. <laughs> oh yeah, P.S. If I don't get home before 3, Chantel will kill me because she has been looking forward to going out on Rasta for, well, <laughs> before the cold snap. So yeah, I got to appease my best friend, you know. She does so many great things for me. So I give where I can and this would be my giving day. So I, oh, I better get my butt going. And Claremont's calling me, so I'll catch you in a little bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what? I have highlights from this weekend too. And first of all, here's the food for this weekend. Hi guys. You're so beautiful. You know that? Yeah, including you. They're so pretty. They're just standing here waiting for us to look today. You're so cute. One of many, many reasons why I just can't deal with eating red meat anymore. You guys are too cute for your own good. I'll still have your milk though. <laughs> Yay, more bales. Giving the horses their shredded wheat for the day. Oh, there goes Rosie again. Cow on the loose. <laughs> One smart little baby got out. <laughs>
So we ate healthy and vegetarian, obviously, and it was fantastic. Uh, there was a couple of other ones in there too, a uh, couple of other things, but they didn't look half as nice as those guys. So, but it's been all vegetarian. Um, this is what the this I think is my week marker today. Hmm, that's nice. <laughs> but and here's the other thing that I did for myself. I got myself a Fitbit. I needed one. It was frustrating me because it's kind of disheartening that my phone says that my steps were like only 200 some in a day it was getting. But I know that I'm walking more than that, but I just don't know how much, right? Whether I need to push just a little bit more, whether I'm doing sufficiently or anything because I leave my phone all over the place. I leave it at my desk mostly and just walk away from it. I might as well have a landline to be totally honest. But yeah, I am so excited. And review of this so far, the first 24 hours of it anyways, it is fantastic. I am in love with the app that is with my phone. I, uh, I can genuinely tell you I have not enjoyed my phone for the function, not that this is a phone review channel, but my phone with this thing, uh, the app that's on the phone, I have not enjoyed an app or a phone this much since my husband got me my very first smartphone years ago already and all the other ones uh, have been functional but have not suited me but this and this that is fantastic I love it it keeps such a close track of everything and now I can do my heart rate at any time which that's important to me for my fat loss thing keeping my heart rate up when I'm working out and everything and on top of it, I told you that my air glider, rest in peace, went bye-bye. Um, I finally found an aerobics number one that I could get through all the way because some of those are pretty, pretty damn tough, especially for somebody that I'm agile, but I am also still overweight. So until I get a little bit lighter on my feet, some of those things don't suit me. But I found a very good beginner's workout that made me sweat buckets, which is awesome. And... Um, yeah, I've been going on it. This will be day three that I'm doing this particular workout. Uh, I'll leave the link in my description below uh, because it, for anybody that needs it, that's thinking while you're stuck inside, uh, not so much today as far as the weather's concerned in Canada here uh, for us, but I mean, on, on cold, cold days or you just don't want to get out, this is a really good beginner's workout and it's all standing too because I don't like laying down exercise. I know that sounds so strange, but I'm just not, when I'm working out, I wanna be standing working out and functioning that way. So it's great. If you need one, check it out. Um, I will tell you a little bit later on in this video because I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, but it's fantastic. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know my two exciting bits of information and my third one being that I think it's a week that I've been vegetarian and I'm not hurting. So I did go and, <laughs> and grab Burger King for my kids, but that was it. And well, Claremont, he likes fish. So he got his fish sandwiches and then I had my spinach curry. That I had to suck it up on. I'm not gonna lie. Cowgirl up took on a new level. <laughs> okay, I'm out and about as you know. And for once, for once, I am actually going to grab something to eat so I went to well Manitoba folk Winnipeg folk please um, patronize this place it's a local business it is green and green and it's here in St. James and they have let me get back there we go they have fantastic I have not had such great customer service and the food looks absolutely amazing I got a vegetarian what was it tomato avocado and goat cheese on marble rye sandwich and it looks magnificent i could not have asked for better so and on top of it they have meat choices as well and everything looked divine so please if you get a chance and you want to go eat out please pat patronize it because it's wonderful okay and this is what i got at the restaurant there this is a goat cheese avocado tomato and I believe red onion panini, and it looks fantastic. It's a little bit on the room temperature side now because I had to travel an hour home, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to it. 
And see, just on a side note, I knew that I was getting way more steps than 200. Jesus, Murphy. Admittedly, I don't know if it's just psychosomatic because I've got this as a placebo on my hand or the fact that, um, well, it's literally genuinely making me feel better that I know that I've got those steps and it's so much more motivational than seeing the 200. So, yeah, I'm happy about it. Awesome. <laughs> And Chantel went and schmoozed out on me. <laughs> so I guess I will use up some steps by doing some housework. <laughs> I need to catch up on that. I always need to catch up on that. But what do I expect? I got four kids, right? Now, while I've got a moment and it's calm, I'm keeping my voice down because I don't want the person to hear me. Okay? But, okay, here's the thing. I am a smoker. And... That is something that I can quit food before I can quit smoking, okay? But baby steps, I'm I'm trying, but I have been smoking quite literally since I've been 14 years old. I've tried, I think, twice before to quit smoking and to no avail. Oh, I'm still smoking, so. Um, but my, I know my oldest son, it really, it bothers him. He's afraid of losing me, and I get it. And, my husband, same thing. He's not a smoker, and um, I guess they've gotten used to it over the years, but I know that they shouldn't be, and nor should I be getting used to it myself. So I am going to try something, okay? And that is I'm going to try and quit smoking. I'm going to try and use these things um, and cut down and give it an honest shot. I don't know how that's going to react with my weight loss um, I'm going to try and curtail things but I'm really gonna try and be aware of um, what I'm doing because I'm very orally fixated that's the food addiction talking and everything it has to be my mouth all the time so I'm doing that and the reason why I'm keeping my voice down is because as addicted as I am to food and well even more smoking um, my son is addicted to gaming and it's <sighs> recently especially I know that we're all closed in and everything like that but I mean we live on 32 acres you can go and do a whole bunch of other things you don't need to be in the house and everything and I know that too we practice that right but he has a problem with gaming okay and we've tried to approach him before and I don't want to be nasty about this because I don't want it to be a bad childhood memory for him but I definitely want to put a leash on it and get him more active because I know that diabetes runs in my family, heart disease runs in my family, a whole bunch of uh, predispositions run, to, run in my family and I don't even know about his biological father's side because we don't associate with him unfortunately. Um, but that's how the dice rolls. So um, that being said, I want him to be healthy and pull him into this a little bit more but I don't want to be like in your face um, for lack of use of a better term, mothering about it because no kid's gonna, well, no kid likes that and he's just, that's more of a chance of him rebelling against it, right? So, but he said to me that if I quit smoking, then he will quit gaming. And, well, he should have known better because now it's on. <laughs> so I'm really happy to get these things. And I am going to go and see what his reaction is going to be when I tell him just now. <laughs> Hold on one sec. So, Carl, look at me. You said that, you said the other night that if you, or if I quit smoking, that you would quit gaming, right? You promised me that? Look at me. Look at me. You promised me? Okay, well, the pack of smokes that I have right now is the last pack of smoke that you're going to see me have because I quit smoking as of then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a deal? Look at me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And no, look at me. Look at me. Know that I have it on tape that you agreed to this, right? Mm -hmm. So when I say that you can't game anymore, what are you doing to that poor controller? It's very broken. Oh, that's great. I love how you do that. You just remember this. I have videotaped it, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Look mm -hmm. at me. Right. Pinky swear. Mm -hmm. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. 
Where are you? There you are. Pinky swear. Good. He said it, so he has to stick to it. <laughs> it is an absolutely beautiful evening out. The sun's just setting. It is still four above. It was seven today. Could not have asked for better. You'll notice the round pen's gone. We're getting another one this summer. But that was on loan for the winter, but they just took it. The horses are just back there grazing. Hi, girls. <laughs> you can see Perdita and Bella staring at us. Hold on a second. There they are. <laughs> oh, I wish days like this didn't have to end. So pretty. So it took a bit, but here is dinner. This is the leftovers from last night a little bit. And then I made fresh flat bread, which is soft and still hot. Oh, wow. <laughs> and amazing. And some rice. And then I made butternut squash curry. Uh, it's a coconut curry. It smells absolutely amazing right now. And then I made a spinach curry with chickpeas in it. Um, I'm going to leave the link to the recipes below in my description because they're absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for a vegetarian option, here is definitely the way to go. And I am going to plate up and eat because I'm starving. That took about four hours to do. And there we go. I'll plate it up. Does that not look divine right now? <laughs> not going to lie. That took a little bit of effort, but I mean... I'm gonna have leftovers and it's going to be stuff that will last probably a day or two because I'm pretty sure that the kids are only gonna have one meal of this but they'll enjoy it nevertheless <laughs> but they'll be screaming for me tomorrow anyways anyways but yes it was worth the effort the flatbread will be gone I'll have leftovers for a couple of days and well in order to keep to a diet plan planning ahead like that, eh, there's something to be said for that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna dig in, I am starving. I had an orange while I was cooking over three hours, but I'll tell you something here. Look, oh, one second. If you can see my, oh, there it is. If you can see my Fitbit, there we go. Look how many, oh, did you see how many calories, or how many calories, how many steps that I did? So many more steps than what my phone told me originally. So that made, it, made me a happy camper today. And I'll tell you one thing, I was waltzing around this kitchen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat and we'll catch up with you in just a little bit. Oh my goodness, I am so stuffed. <laughs> that was such a nice meal. Um, yeah, it took a little bit, but it was so worth it. Uh, the flavors were just all right there in your face. <laughs> and. Well, I like that. That's a, that's the whole curry thing. So, and it's vegetarian. So I really am enjoying it. Even Hunter, the self-proclaimed meat eater extraordinaire does hates vegetables. Okay. I used to have to fight with him to eat vegetables. He's even saying that he would love to be vegetarian forever. I am not brainwashing him. I swear. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hold one sec. There we go. Bit of a cough, but that's why I want to quit smoking. So wish me luck. My first day's tomorrow. I figured that I wouldn't put my first day of quitting smoking when I am horrible at it um, on my fur on my videos because nobody's well, it would be for entertainment purposes. I will say that much. But anyways, um, I'm going to attempt it. So wish me the best for tomorrow. I'm going to start my journey on that one and let's see how that one goes. And I'm going to keep up with my journey on this one. Uh, Gabby and I, like I said, we are going to go do some dance aerobics now. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. I can do this. This is like day three for this now. So I can do it. It'll make me sweat. And the spices made me sweat. If anything, I will definitely lose a lot of water weight. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I will catch up with everybody on Wednesday. I can't wait to get... The aerobics done and then go take a shower and then Gabby and I we're gonna wait oh shoot. 
we're going to be doing this, which is this mask is for her. It's got anti-acne. And here's the one for me. It's the old lady mask. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I will catch up with everyone on Wednesday. And until then, stay healthy, stay focused, and, and above all, and safe. And most of all, take care. Have the best evening. Night. Bye. <laughs> that was Gabby. <laughs>